Hi everyone, it's Daniela and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be so fun. It is Mixed Media Tag Day and Susan, whose link is below, and I are doing the five days of Halloween, hashtag Halloween fun, um, little series here because it's just cute and we thought everyone might like it. And if you comment and like, you can win all the things that we make. So today we're going to make a mixed media tag. Now mixed media is my actual art form that I do. Um, I have a couple of my published pieces I brought over here to show you. Just Halloween ones. Um, this was published in Somerset Studio. Um, this was the first thing they published of mine, and I was, I had no words. And it is, I still love it. And I don't know, it's just, it's my first, you know? It was like, what? Somerset Studios is an amazing magazine all filled with mixed media wonderfulness but if you're more of a card maker or whatever they have the stamper sampler and take 10 i was published in those as well and in fact it's funny i haven't submitted anything to them in at this point almost five years and earlier this year they did a a feature i got a two-page spread for some cards I had sent in I don't even know when and I was published for last Halloween as well and it's hysterical and I love it and I was so grateful this one is one of my favorites if you saw what I made for Susan Jimmy Bones um this just shows you that I that's like what I love and it's a Stephen King book in the background. And I layered up all of these hand-drawn <laughs> images. And I made little ghosts. And this was just too much fun. It should have almost been illegal to have this much fun. So I got that one. And the last one I wanted to show you because I had made a comment recently about not making faces. I don't make faces. I just don't. And I admit it right now. I can't. So this is a really big piece. As you can see. And the uh, theme was masquerade. So lucky me. I just had to make this mask. And this is what I do. I make like a lot of hair. That's how I do that and she has wings so she didn't have to have arms but she has shoulders see and this awesome dress and bows and so i don't make faces <laughs> i make a lot of hair so anyway you know i even have some of my artwork as fashion for a company called vita and um they put my work on um, shirts and scarves and stuff. So I've been around too long. And sometimes it's good to take a break because then you end up appreciating what you had. You know, I felt so burnt out, but there's nothing wrong with being burnt out. And there's nothing wrong with changing to making books and cards and all the fun things I make right now. Um, I love doing this very much, and I am not going to complain about it, because it's awesome. And so, to make a mixed media tag, we're going to start off with a number 8 manila tag from Ranger. Um, I actually have a black one also, I will probably put on the back. This is from my paper pad by Authentique that I'm using for hashtag no paper left behind and it is the poem the raven by 
Edgar Allan Poe. So we're going to use this on top and then we're going to use a cauldron for our tag and so that will go here somewhere as well. That's what I was going to do. Tear it and put that on top and take this part and put it underneath for the cauldron. And then I thought it would be so fun to have a bunch of stars coming out of the cauldron. How fun would that be? Maybe I just am too excited. I do not know. And so, yeah. So aside from that, we need a couple of paint brushes. And we need, um, I also want to use some ink to drip and let run because I love that. I don't know why I have the color blue. I don't need blue. Move that out of the way. I also am using the Bow Bunny glitter paste that I just got from Tuesday morning. I have a bunch of distress inks. I have a bone folder. I don't know why. A palette knife. A couple little palettes, a distressing tool, some paint brushes, water mister. Ah, oh, of course, the most important thing, a Hello Kitty baby wipe dispenser or any dispenser you would like. But, I mean, why wouldn't it be Hello Kitty if it's in my studio, right? Come on. Let's all be real. We know the... We know how it goes around here, so I'll take them out. I have a Stabilo marker in case I want to make any more squares. <laughs> I have some stamps, um, uh, some stickers from Tim Holtz because I wanted to put them on the cauldron. I got some trim and I got some stamps and every single thing but the kitchen sink. I also have some regular gel medium. That's how we're going to attach the paper to the tag. Now Mod Podge is pretty much exactly the same and it's um, you can buy it at the Dollar Tree so don't feel like you can't make mixed media because you don't have certain things um, my first thought was like, oh goodness, I'm going to just go get everything I've ever used in my life and we're going to have fun. And then I was like, well, maybe you want people to have fun with you and not everyone has blah, 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 whatever. So, um, I figured I would just, uh, bring out a bunch and see what we use and like I said I mean a lot of people have Tim Holtz Distress Ink for example or um, things like that so if not Dollar Tree uh, watercolors you could just get them wet and paint with them it's you know this is it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to be easy and it's supposed to be awesome and I hope it will be for you so I just made a mark so now I can rip my paper because that's what I do who wants even edges right people who are lame just kidding um keep that piece of paper of course all right so we're gonna put this guy down here Okay, if it was right side up, no, we're not. We're putting this guy on the top. That's what we just said. And then we'll bring him there. Yep, okay. So, let's try to get a rough measure of where to rip it again. That's getting ripped and put up here. And then we'll rip and layer this guy up next. Okay. Let's go with 
that much. That's what's fun about mixed media. There's no rules. Any mistake can be fixed. Anything you want to try is amazing. Anything you make will be marvelous. So I just wanted to try to show you all how fun this is and that you can, you know, purchase these things at your local Dollar Tree. You don't have to get snazzy. And maybe if you try it and you do like it, well, then you get a little at a time of stuff that you want to try or whatever. Tuesday morning has mixed media supplies. It's where I got the Bow Bunny texture paste. So you can get it anywhere. Mm, my dog is barking. He wants to be in trouble. Shh. Sorry. If I do that, he gets quiet again. So we're going to get some gel medium and we're going to get it on the tag and then attach this to the tag. And then we'll cut off all the rest or whatever at that point. So get a paintbrush and open your gel medium and paint some on. Grab some. I always even mix it up a little bit. It's this kind of consistency, you know. And try to get it just uh, not too much on your um, on your what is this word paintbrush? <laughs> hmm. Just enough so that. You don't saturate it. Like I said, gel medium, Mod Podge. And I know there's Mod Podge at Dollar Tree. And I know I'm making a mess already. And again, I'm super good with that. I should have put something underneath here so that this way I still can. Here's my yucky no it's yucky from you know blue and stuff yucky paper towel or whatever not the best thing to put down because said might get stuck to it but I don't care these are not the things that I worry about I just don't want to soak all of the paper and everything. Gel medium is excellent for adhering stuff. It's a fabulous sealer, which is the real reason that use it like if you wanted to do watercolor on the first layer of your artwork. Great, but then you also don't want the watercolor to come off because you're going to go over the top of it with something else, with acrylic paint, with something else water-based. So then you would put your gel medium on top and um, it would kind of seal and protect what you um, just put down. So. Okay, I'm also trying to be quick and I don't want to miss out on any fun from being too quick. Or that bone folder that I said I took out. Have you seen it? Oh, it's over here. Thank you. I heard you telling me. I appreciate that. Okay, so I'm just using the bone folder. I'm pressing it all down on there. And then I don't want it to be neat. I want to keep it like torn. Because that's way more fun. Always. There 
move this corner. And then that's it. And we leave the rest just like this. Okay. So now let me put my lid back on my gel medium. Because like I had said, we will put um more on the top at the end. Especially because I need some in between here, but I don't want to. Because then anything I do as far as um what I'm going to do right now, which is put some ink on this, then um, that area, the ink won't go through. It'll lay on top of it and blah, blah. So let's ink. So we're going to use some vintage photo distress oxide because it has a different um, look when you... I'm going to zoom in, just realized I've been far away, sorry. Um, it does cooler things when you get it wet, which we're going to be getting it wet. So, I am just go around in circles. You know, I bought the brushes um, to try, and I haven't tried them. I got them on Amazon because I saw Tina I asked her about them. Tina Kappa uh, Crafty Bean. And she said that they will change your life. And I can't wait to have a spare moment to try them out. I think I was in the midst of talking about this whole thing this week with Susan. And then, of course, I got distracted because that's what I do. <laughs> And I didn't get to finish by saying, um, yes, you visit her, visit me, we all get um, some fun, and you can win everything that we make um, as a prize, and comment and like, but obviously, well, this was only just figured out by me a minute ago. Um, tomorrow's video won't count because the winner is coming going to be announced tomorrow. Or at least for me. I think that's how Susan's doing it also. I don't know. I think so. I'm pretty sure I've been wrong before also. So Now I'm just using the darker frayed burlap around the edges. it. I like frayed burlap better anyway, but a little more down here on the bottom. Okay, let's get our lids back on. Now I want to add a little of some of this orange I also brought out some um, uh, art crayons in case I wanted to add a lot more orange or something. But I have Rusty Hinge and Dried Marigold. I thought I had Spiced Marmalade, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Now these I'm just going to put a little bit here and there. A little fun here. Yummy. Mmm, I'm liking that. It's like a nice peachy orange. Oh yeah, and the splatters that were on this paper, they're coming back. Mm-hmm. Yep, and there's going to be splatter. More splatter the better. Rusty Hinge is a really cool, not orange, but rust. But it's just, I think, it's just a great, a really great alternative to, I don't know, when you don't want to actually use orange, you just want to, 
We need something. So now let's have some fun. Let's spray a little bit of water on here. I will put my paper towel behind again. And I'm trying not to get too much. Of course, that's way too much. So you can also still get it on your fingers and do what I'm doing. Or do whatever you want to do that doesn't look anything like what I'm doing. Okay, let's get another paper towel to dry off. Oh, look what's happening. I like it a lot. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm liking what's going on here, but I'm not seeing enough. There we go. We need a little bit bigger plops of water. I was being far too uh what's the word i have no idea what the word is i was not giving enough water mm -hmm. now with the regular distress ink the color gets removed but with the distress oxide it turns to a different color can you see the gray spots it's oxidizing with water instead of being removed. Isn't that the coolest? Okay, I'm just not getting what I want here. So now I'm just going to get the whole thing wet. Because I'm a maniac. There we go. Lots and lots and lots. All right, I'm going to pause in a minute so I can put a heat tool to this. It's far too loud to do while you're watching. So let me heat this cool, dry this. I'll be right back. Good. Now we're all dry and we have some nice, fun little oxidizing and removing and what have you and now I just want to add a couple of stamps I'm using Stuart Superior India ink because it is uh, India ink it's permanent so that is just done I have these cool stamps that are like splotches so I thought they would be fun mm, you know what Maybe I should put the cauldron in first because when the cauldron goes in, then the splotches could be popping out. Or I guess I could do this too. Uh, let's do the other side. Because we're also going to have the stars coming out of the pot. So let's do that. No? Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Trying to really squish. There you go. I want to have some of it like exploding from the cauldron because you don't know what's brewing in there. Probably something amazing, but definitely not neat. Let's just say that, right? So those were very fun to add and I always like to add some numbers I don't know why it's one of those weird things about me so I haven't had this strip of numbers these are Tim Holtz stamps that I've had like for a zillion years I know you can still find these exact stamps
also I don't always like to use a block when I'm stamping because I just like things to be random. I also like to stamp some of it off because I don't want it to necessarily be on there perfect. I feel like I'm being a scaredy cat. There we go. Don't fall, paper. <laughs> Got it. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah. I don't know. That's what I did. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. You can go with this or you can go with that. Okay. I'm liking that a lot. You could put a little number down here. I'm thinking. And no, that's good. Oh, and I have a little um oh, okay, I dropped it. I don't know if I could find it. It was a little teeny tiny raven. I've had it for a long time. If I find it, I will add it later. I'm not go <laughs> gonna go underneath my um, desk and search for, I mean, it's this little, so let's move this ink. I'm definitely going to probably want more splats, that's for sure. So, now I do have to adhere the cauldron because um, then I can do the um, the stencil. Okay. I can still use the gel medium. Grab a little bit of this. This video is going to be eight hours long and I'm sorry. I just can't. I don't know. Just having fun and hoping that you're learning something fun too today. Or you, of course, already know all of this because you're all geniuses and I know this. So, but maybe it'll make you say, wait a minute, I haven't done that in a long time. Maybe I should pull my old Mod Podge out or where is that heat gun or whatever. Fun. Time to play and have fun. That's what I'm saying. All right, so I'm going to try to get this just around here. Remember, at the end, I'll end up uh, sealing the whole thing anyway. So, I feel like this material is like soaking the gel medium up so quick. Okay, let's see where we're going to put you. I think I know where it's going to go already. I just got to get it back there. There we go. Let's get this guy. The messier, the better, but I still need you to, you know, stick, lay down, chill, take a load off. <laughs> if you're sticking up, I should be using an old credit card or I think I keep those just for this for smoothing out smooth move okay okay so let's put the lid back on this guy 
and put a wet wipe back on this one. Move him out of our way. And let's take this stencil and take a good look at where we want it. Because I don't care. Oh, move your stand. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's perfect. I'm not looking for it to be perfect or anything. I just want to know that I'm getting it where I want it to go. Which is kind of like I want it. I want it to come out wide and then get smaller. Maybe wide to there. Maybe. Yeah, I think we'll try that first and see how it looks. Yep. I haven't even used this. I think I just bought it. Mm -hmm. It's all over my fingers, but that's the best thing ever. I used to always say, if I've got paint on my hands, glitter in my hair, and paper scraps all over the floor, then it's been a very good day. Okay, here's my palette knife and our yummy goodness. Just giving it a quick mix. Although it seems very well mixed. I just want to Make sure, and you take some on your knife, and we go back to looking again. This is way too much. I don't know what I was just thinking. Mm -hmm. So we'll put some. I'm just spreading it out right now because it's a little thin. Thinner than I expected, I guess I should say. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I should have used modeling paste. And then glitter paste. Does anybody know the answer? Here we go. So it'll work it a little bit, I guess. I want to do this big star over here. These couple of little ones. Those couple little ones. Remember, I'm working towards a triangle, or a, I don't know if it's really a triangle. I just want it to kind of travel to a point, kind of. Does that make sense, or am I sounding wackier than usual? All right, let's see what we got. <gasps> Oh, oh, that is good. I think it's awesome. What do you think? Do you think it looks good? It looks like a bunch of bubbly bits going through. I'm just wondering if I should have added more. No, I think I'm happy. Okay. Always put the rest of the product that you have back in the jar, or better yet, just spread some around for glittery fun, right? I can never have enough glitter. I'm scraping it off of the stencil also to add it to the, add a little to our cauldron. 
Add a little to our hair. <laughs> like I hadn't added to my hair, but boy, I wanted to. All right, let me wipe this off. And now I'm going to try to dry it with a heat tool. I will be right back. Sorry, we're almost done. not completely dry but if I move it you can see the stars in there I will outline them with a black um, pen or a white pen when it's completely dry and anyway um, yeah so now the last thing we're going to do is add a little bit of ink dripping Dripping ink is my favorite. This color is brick red. No, this one is raw umber. Not too bad. And I have gold. I thought I had um, orange. Let me spin around and look because they're right behind me. Oh, oh. Is this it? The one that the color says right on it. Uh, orange. Duh. I grabbed blue before and I was like, what was I thinking? Obviously, you weren't thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me mix this up. This is glitter uh, ink. And then we're going to drip it. I'm going to put like a couple droplets here so that they drop down because I'm hoping <laughs> if my mad science experiment should be a success I'm hoping that it will look like it's shooting out of the pot that's my plan Drip, drip. Oh, come on, mister. Drip. All right, let's try another one over here. There you go. That guy's dripping. That's what we're talking about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Itch on my face, itch on my face. They're just not traveling far away enough for my liking. I think it looks super awesome though. Wow. Wow. So surprising. I love happy surprises. That guy didn't quite. All right, let me drop a little bit right there. Just because it was like not attached, just the only way I can put it. It was like the drip just started out of nowhere, kind of. I'm just putting a little more in a palette so that now we can splatter, which is my favorite. Splatter is the best. Totally my favorite. I like to put some on a paintbrush and then hit the paintbrush with something else. <laughs> what do you think? Do you love it? I love it. I might also love a little bit of water here because I'm afraid that my drips aren't dripping enough.
some drips that aren't drippy. This doesn't really seem to be helping. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now we got some more drips going. Okay. Okay, a little bit more drippiness. All right, a little bit more. And I want to outline some of these stars. So let me let that dry and I'll be right back. So I'm done and this tag is finished. I, um, I always, one of the things I do a lot is make little circles all over the place. So I did that. I outlined the stars. I added one of these um, Tim Holtz. What the heck are they called? Um, clipping stickers. They all have all of these like random. So I put um, Witch Market because I mean she's cooking up a brew and it's bubbling and glittering and stars are coming out of it and little white dots too and it's at the witch's market. And then I added some um, pom-pom trim just down the one side because I liked how ripped up it was over here. And I added just a, a thin eighth of an inch um, piece of ribbon at the top. I, I don't know. I didn't really want to use string. But this is like very straight. <laughs> it's like, woo. But maybe I'll cut it a little bit. So I'm trying to get it because if it's in the light, then you're like, I can't see. So I'm trying to get it to where that's what it actually looks like. So that's it. That's my mixed media tag. Like I said, you didn't miss anything when I left. I just did all that detail stuff that you would just be yawning if you're watching me outlining things, you know. So, um... That's it. I hope you might have learned something. I hope you found it enjoyable. I enjoyed making it. And I hope whoever wins the final giveaway tomorrow loves it too. Um, please don't forget to go see Susan. She's awesome. And leave a comment and like for your chance to win. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Stay awesome. Bye.